So first, let's take something that's not so terrible. We see tribalism on full display every weekend in sports stadiums. Sports, in a way, are our culture's safe tribalism. They let us channel our loyalty and hostility into arbitrary groups. So it's Yankees versus Red Sox or Manchester United versus Liverpool or Cowboys versus 49ers. People chant, they paint their faces, they wave flags, they curse at their rivals. And for a few hours, they experience the same surge of in-group bonding that once held hunter-gatherer bands together. And when the game ends, most fans go home without bloodshed. Sports give us the thrill of us versus them in a contained, ritualized form. They act like a lightning rod grounding tribal energy so it doesn't always arc into violence. But outside the stadium, when the same circuitry is recruited for politics, religion, race, the consequences aren't so harmless because then the stakes are higher and the hostility doesn't turn off when the whistle blows. So here's what the neuroscience shows us about this. The amygdala, which we often think of as a detector of fear, is also a sentinel for otherness. It flares up when we see faces from outside our group. The salience network orients our attention to those differences, telling the brain, this matters, watch closely.